Hey, buddies, Potanamic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Teddy Roosevelt. Now, just a quick reminder we're playing with two mods. We're playing with the More Units mods and the add ons for the expansions or the DLCs, and we're also playing with the NQ district changes. And I'm really liking them, and I'm really excited about continuing to explore them. I maybe want to insert some extra little mods here in the future, but we will see. We will see. There's no haste. There is no haste. We are just in an ex this is an exploratory game of these mods and I'm, I'm actually really enjoying them. I feel like they really changed the game for the better. Uh, we're actually, I think we're actually kind of doing kind of crap. We did, we're on the true start location Earth, but the, the map is not great for what we want to do. Feels like we got kind of shafted on land, but we'll, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll make do and we'll get by. It's not a big deal. No big deal, you know, uh, it looks like someone has, he was trying to steal a great work from me. Aztecs. So let's go here into diplomacy, make demand, uh, discuss, promise not to spy on me. Yes, you're a riot. Uh, so he regrets spying on me. I told him not to do that thing. What's our relationship like? Relationship is pretty good. How about you make a deal with me? Make a chance, make a chance, make a chance, 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 chance. Uh, We've got medieval fairs. We got, what, what, uh, what luxuries do we have? We do have these because we're trading for them, that's great. Uh, medieval fairs, plus 100% theater square districts, plus two housing in all cities with at least three special use districts. I would like that gold actually, so I think I will pick that up just for the meantime, just for the meantime, just for the meantime, just, 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 just for the meantime. Ba, 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 ba. Are we building any builders? That's a question. Uh, and we are not. We are not building any builders, so we could probably slot out this policy now. And usually I just leave it in because I'm lazy. But we're going to slot it out. Uh, we're going to slot this in, slot this in. We're going to keep these two because I like them. And then we're going to do uh, I could get extra faith from buildings. That would be really, really nice. Uh, for the extra faith, because I could use that to purchase things. Purchase units. Mm. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Uh, not quite as much faith as you're used to, though. Go, explorer! Go! Uh, in the meantime, I think I'll get another explorer just to help me. I just want some knowledge of the world, see if maybe there's some cities somewhere that I, that I can snag, that I can steal. I'm going to build that holy site now uh, because it's going to help you grow to the point where you're actually useful. Go here. Uh, that's not right. Oh, goodness, the world just flipped on me. So I think something just happened there. He has ironclads. That's really scary. You're just a few turns away from. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, go here and um, build a farm. Next turn, you're gonna drop a mine there. Gonna make these tiles uh, not really workable, but workable because they're gonna contribute to this thing getting done next turn. Have I only built two traders? Where's my third trader? I swear I have three traders, right? Is that... Where am I building that other trader? Huh. Whatever. Um, let's start shooting this guy down. It's a Pokemon, so I want to be careful about those Pokemon. They, uh... They're dangerous. Those Pokemon. The Pokemon are very, very dangerous. Uh, why don't I send you to... Tenoch Titlan? Just for the... Mainly for the road. But the uh, little bit of gold is going to be real nice for upgrading these units. Good turn. I think I will definitely maybe upgrade a couple of crossbowmen. Spend a little bit of gold on this. Did I ever unlock Pokemon myself? I never unlocked Pokemon, but we'll have to see about what we do about that. Uh, in the meantime, go sleep. Hmm. So, Baltimore, where are you working? You're growing here. I need you to grow to here. Can I just purchase that? Can. But you're not quite ready for a harbor. You need another population unit. Darn. Uh, so we're going to be putting an entertainment district there. I want to put a pin there just to remind myself. Uh, we'll call that Ent. Ent like the trees. Uh, in the meantime... You're gonna go up here and see if you can find land, buddy. 
uh, scouting late in the game is kind of risky. It doesn't always work out in your favor. Um, I don't really have a use for this builder. I may as well kind of move over in this way because there's a lot of land over here for me to upgrade. Yeah, this city kind of made my saddling really inefficient. It's sad, but it was like it was a free city and I think it helped me cripple this guy. I say cripple, but he's still like ahead of me. John Curtin. I feel like I have to ban John Curtin from the game because every time he's in my games, he skyrockets to position one. But I mean, we were particularly really... I don't think we were really... I mean, we, we wanted to win, but I don't think we were really like trying to her um we're more interested in experiencing the game seeing what's up and really just kind of trying out these mods uh you should go get that farm online next turn right, you guys are one turn away from being ready to upgrade so next turn we've got some workshops coming up that's pretty nice plus five percent production I learned a lot about this. I learned a lot about this game, and I'm, I'm actually going to be playing with these mods again. Definitely, I, as I said, I may even add in more mods, more mods, um, to make things even more exciting. I'm really, I'm at that stage now where I still really enjoy playing Civ, but the base game isn't enough. Like I'm like the guy, like I, you know, I'm like the dude who buys like a fast car and then starts adding stuff to it. You know, that's what I feel like at least. Uh. I really want... Okay, so there's a few things I want here. Big time, I want this, this. To a lesser extent, this. And so I'll pick those up. But then I want these two. And this. And this. And then we'll see what we go. Go from there. I think that pretty much covers all the text. Yep. All right. So that's the sort of order we're going to go in. Choose production over here in New Orleans. Uh, yeah. Get that amphitheater online. Uh, we should be getting a great rider not too far in the funk future. Uh, we're going to drop a lumber mill here. Hopefully make that tile a little more attractive to work. Uh, you're going to get the plus range strength. Now in Los Angeles. On Los Angles. Uh, if you go trade with Los Angles, you will get some good stuff for that. I could also trade with him and get some extra science. We did find whales, so I'm going to settle up there. Changing information of our capitals, so how about I send you a delegation? We received the heretics. I mean, your trade delegation. He thinks we're heretics. He probably has his own religion. Surprisingly, he doesn't have his own religion. Interesting. Interesting. I will want to settle up here, though, if I get a good explorer off, because there is room for whaling cities in my empire. I will say that much. So probably after this, I'll grab a quick settler and send him on his way. Right. I've got a theater square district coming up here. That's pretty good, actually. I want that. I want the amphitheaters because we're about to pick up the art museums. And we're going to want those in a big, 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 big way. And we are ahead of the curve on that front. Just scooching along there. I'm going to grab a settler here. Very, very cool. Um, Charles... Um, Yeah, I'm going to get you to get this entertainment district. Keep shooting here. Great. Just a couple turns until we are able to clear that out. We've got a second explorer. We're going to send this explorer off to find Africa. So we'll send him off that away. Africa's great in this game. Uh, offers lots of opportunities for uh, late game cities if nobody is there. Hopefully, hopefully there is no one there. It might be the Congo in the game. But I'm not sure. It could, it's entirely possible that I just haven't met him yet. Uh, unit needs orders. So these three guys could actually get upgraded also, funny enough. And uh, I think I will upgrade these because I'll need something to defend me in a sort of general sense. All right, so we've got a lot of farms going on over here. How do these cities feel about that? Nice. Housing is an issue that I need to get resolved. It's 
definitely needs to be resolved. No, 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 okay, we're happy to let the world know that we are friends. Pretty happy with Norway. I think Norway is like up over here somewhere. Or is this even Norway? Yeah, Norwegian Empire. In 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 Civ Five, I think it was Denmark, and then in this game it was Norway. And I think it was also Sweden in Civ Five. I would like to see those guys make a comeback because those are interesting civilizations. Great engineer points, uh, great artist points. So the question is, is it, are we ready to switch? And I think we are, because great artists are actually worth more per capita than great writers. So we'll uh, we'll get some great artist points, and we are going to be switching over here pretty soon to nothing actually we're happy with the way we are great artist points are perfectly reasonable we will confirm these policies double faith yield is that really what we want to be doing right now hmm uh, none of these are really jumping out to me because i don't really have an abundance of any other things i mean theater square adjacency bonuses not great uh builder no plus one production in all cities sure that sounds great no i'll just get the double faith from uh, faith buildings because we are we do have a few of them and they're not worthless we're going to be able to turn them into great um into naturalists later on in the game all right you can pick that up now nice uh okay you guys are going to go sleep here you're in position to kill this guy we should be able to take the city out with these three units no problem when push comes to shove you just swap tiles with this guy and get upgraded you go sleep here Go to sleep. Uh, I could kill some of these guys, but it's not really in my best interest. Oh, Ireland is uncolonized. Oh, we'll be colonizing Ireland. Let me tell you that much. In fact, we might even... I would like to... Hmm, exactly where we settle matters. So we'll see what we do. I would have liked to get a good scout off here. I'll use my... Um, my intuition to try and intuit what will happen over there. Okay, so you just finished your harbor district. You pick up a trader. Lighthouse. God, you need a builder. Uh, you're going to build the infrastructure. You're going to grab a granary. You're going to grab a granary. A lot of these cities don't have granaries even. Okay, yeah, you're working good tiles. I would also like to keep the food train rolling on this city. Um, oh. Go here. Go asleep. Looks like Norway settled up over here, actually. So that's going to change our plans a little bit. Hmm. If I settled there, I would pick up the whales, but really late. Next turn. Bum, 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 bum. This game gets waltzing Matilda stuck in my head so often. God. The Spanish Caravel. Spanish Caravel. Spanish Caravel. Unique you, New York. Unique New York. So Alright, so we got the shipyard now. That'll give us um, some production in these coastal cities, which I'm pretty happy about. Got no complaints about that on that particular front. Uh, we do want to get these art museums up. However... Uh, because they give great writer and great artist points. So we will be picking up the art museum. Uh, we'll pick up the amenity building first, I think, actually. That seems to be the trick. Oh, yes, there's cities over here somewhere. How long would it take you to build a settler? A lot of dirt. God damn. Um, Archer, go back to Cincinnati. Oh, he's got a settler coming. Ooh, would I be able to steal that settler? I don't think I want to do that. Oh, we found Germany. It's an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. Looks like Berlin has been settled in um, Brittany in France. Okay. <laughs> That's not where Berlin goes, Germany. He's already in the modern era, right? Is he? German? Germanio? Germana? Germany? He's not on here. Hmm. Must be culturally up there. Hmm. His buildings look like they're industrialized, so. We shall see about how that turns out. Now. Definitely, definitely going for the art museum. Looks like there's definitely cities up here to be exploited. Uh, I suppose maybe I could have put more effort in expanding and exploring when I played this game. What guys are you? Surely you can't believe in nothing? Come show your people the light! 
Fuck you, John Curtain. Oh, excuse me. Few inventions Yawning. Jeez. Horseman. Oh, I like that they added some light cavalry in the on history. In the thing. That's really cool. So where are we going to send the settler? Ooh, there's a settlement up there. Not really, though. Uh, here. The Quiris here. I think I will be settling in Bergen. Near Bergen. Bergen. Oh, it looks like he's sending missionaries over here. Um, that's annoying. Get the art museum for the pass of points. Oh, I could purchase an artist here. And I don't really have anything else to spend my faith on. Getting an early artist would be really nice. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? I'm not using my faith for anything else. It's not helping me if I don't use it. Oh, we found Gandhi. In order to meet you, Gandhi. Gandhi. Look, there's furs up here. I want to I wanna pick up these amenities. If I settle... All right. If, yeah, I think I have to settle here on the marsh. Good grief. We've already settled Africa. I think that's Africa, at least. Uh, why is he surrounding my unit? It looks like he's trying to bully me. Hmm. Bullied. Getting bullied. Alright, so we just unlocked spies. We are going to want to slot those in and get those spies rolling. They're pretty important to preventing science victories. Uh, Cincinnati, what can you do for me? Uh, you could potentially get me a settler, couldn't you? You could. Um, that would let me do some cool stuff up here. Got some exploring to do. Are right, you got a great artist? Oh, why did I buy this? I can't actually use it. <laughs> uh, we'll stick one portrait in here, and that'll give me a little bit of cold, uh, closer. I actually, I don't really have a lot of tourism right now. It's not going great, honestly. We are like ahead of a couple people. We just unlocked Seoul. We'll send them an envoy. I want to recruit a great musician. That's uh, that's a, a tall order there, buddy. It's a very, very tall order. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what it is. I feel like a deity just sucks a lot of the fun out of the game for me. So I might play like a, I might do an Emperor and Jill game with these mods just so I can get more used to it. Um, after this, because I'm, I'm hitting that point now where. Sure, we'll do open borders. Um. There's, there's a lot of problems with the game, like. But the game, does a, does a, it does a really fun game here, but there's a lot of problems with the game. And I'm really enjoying the game, and I'm really enjoying this mod, but... Oh, I didn't mean to click that thing. Uh, we'll go for the art museum. But there's things wrong with it that I that I feel like need to be need to be addressed for the game to be better and to be more enjoyable. Like, getting religious um, relics is, like, in... Essentially, it's not impossible, okay? But practically, as in the practicality of it, is so far beyond what is, like, expectable or, you know, doable in a game, particularly against an AI, that it's just silly. That, you know, why would you, why would you ever try to get a relic? You're only ever hurting yourself going for relics because you could be doing much more productive things. Um, there needs to be ways to get relics that aren't, like... A bank that said 24 hour banking. Things like what if what if instead of time. what if um instead of dying like if apostles instead of when they died in theological combat, if they instead when they um were expended just in any way or killed in military combat, maybe then they should just give you a relic and then make make relic like make relics weaker but make them more abundant, you know? That's what I would do. Because otherwise they just feel kind of shit and unusable. Right, grab the shrine. Uh, we're going to leave that the way it is for now. You don't need orders. We found Japan. We found Nippon. 
I'm gonna go here, drop a mine there. Uh, you're gonna wanna be waiting here for another few turns. Do a little more exploration. When you go check out South America. Also, did you know that today is banging day? Because there is just a dude nearby, near my house, who has just decided that today, today is banging day, and he's just gonna hit stuff with a large, loud object all day long, all day. I can hear in the background just some dude hitting shit. And I don't know, I don't know what he's hitting. I don't know why he's hitting. Maybe he's doing something productive. Okay, maybe he is. But still, that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to get annoyed at him because he's making noise um, when I'm trying to record videos. Okay, we just got knowledge of scientific theory. Right. We just unlock construction and we got the enlightenment. Not really too stoked for the enlightenment. We don't really, we're not going to get much business out of this. Although the amenities could be really nice. And in fact, I might swap that in for the faith. Pick up a few extra amenities. And that'll help us out a little bit throughout our empire. Because we are suffering from a, a dearth of amenities right now. In fact, is anyone willing to trade for some amenities? That's way too expensive, Germany, you piece of shit. Wait a few more turns. Um, also, like, why doesn't... Why, like... What, like this game, why doesn't ho what, like if I hover over this, why doesn't the game just say, yeah, you'll get this guy in like twenty turns? Like what? Like the information is there. It's a really simple calculation. Why doesn't the game do it? Why is there like forty? Like why is there like a hundred pixels in between great each great person? Why don't you condense the screen down into a single thing? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I'm starting to get into that critical Civ Six critical criticize Civ Six mode now. There's the little things that are wrong. And and here's the thing. This is, this is a great game, right? This is a fantastic game, but there's like these little annoying things wrong with it that make it unfun. That like just chip away at the experience. They just chip, 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 chip away at the experience. And I don't know if I would say ruin it, but they take away from it. They, they, they devalue some of the things in the game. Oh my goodness, that was a good stretch. I just had a really nice stretch. You guys didn't see it, but I stretched like hell and it felt real good. Right. Uh, Baltimore. Art Museum. This place has absolute shit for production. Why aren't you working culture? Food. Production. Culture. Uh, take off production focus. We got this. We'll just go culture focus. That extra little bit of culture should help us grab these tiles a little bit quicker. <gasps> we can build we build a harbor here, but we need to grow. If I get the Gurdwara, purchase the Gurdwara. Oh my goodness, our faith purchasing must be off the charts right now. Yeah, we're up to a 20% discount. Jesus, I forgot we could faith purchase units. Do you think it's time to kill the Aztecs? I think it's time to kill the Aztecs. I really, really do. But I need a, um, I need a melee unit down here. So let me purchase... A, uh, a knight. Get you out of there. Can we faith purchase a knight or a horseman? The horseman is cheaper. I shall faith purchase the horseman. We will be declaring war. Now he's friendly with me. We shall shoot here. That should be a kill. We'll splam there. We want to get Laventa on our side. Gadoosh. Move these guys forward. Start hammering this city. Boom. 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 Um... Make a water mill to help you out a little. Very nice. Um, I want more culture, so I will spend a couple of envoys here just to get that plus two culture in every theater district. That's gonna add, that's gonna add up quite a bit. Uh, one more turn until that's done. You try and like, fuck you. Goodbye. Head down here, get a little bit of an explore going off. Going around the Ivory Coast and into the Congo, so the. So it looks like this is uncolonized. So there is room for us to 
do naughty things to uh, the African continent. Next turn. I need to sort these trade routes out. Oh, I suppose we should probably end the game, or not the game, <laughs> end the episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember, if you want to subscribe to get notified when new videos come out, you can do that, and I will love you for it. If you want to like the video, it really helps me out. It's a way to directly support the channel, so please leave a like in the video. Other than that, you can leave a comment if you want to give me your thoughts and feedback on the game. Other than that, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all with, the bottom, with all of my heart. And I hope to see you in the next episode. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.